Hello and welcome to Simon Tech Notes. My name is Christian and I'm part of the technical support team here. In this video, we will be going over how to show your data historically on a trend graph within XPanel Designer. For starters, I'm gonna open up the XPanel Designer application. And in this demo, I'm gonna use four different analog tags to display on my trend graph. So tag one, two, three, four analog values. And associated with those tag values, I'm gonna use a script. And in this script, it's gonna generate random values for each of these tags. And so they're not static values when I'm looking at this graph, so it's just not a straight horizontal line. To get to the trend graph, there's two ways. You can go to the draw drop down, and then you can stop at trend graph and draw that on the canvas if you want, or you can right click on the taskbar and make the drawing toolbar visible, and then you can click on this thing that looks like a trend graph, click on the can canvas, and then you will have your object configuration open for trend configuration. You can name it, I'm gonna name it demo one, you can name it however you want. We can have a general Y versus T, X versus Y. We can have it go from right to left or left to right. I'm gonna have it come from right to left. And then we can display the time to be like one minute, two minutes by default, it's set to two minutes. And then the sampling time is how often it's retrieving data from the reservoir of data. So how, how often is it checking on that tag to collect the data and put it into the graph? We can save this into the main memory, the SD memory or the USB memory. This will save in the root directory, creating its own folder in the root directory. In the next dialog box, we can change the object style. It, we can change its color. We can change the background's color. We can have a fixed pin or a moving pin. So what that means is it, the pin can be moving and the graph will be stationary. Or if I have a fixed pin, the the start of the line will be stationary and the graph moves itself. So there's a subtle difference there, but there is a difference. Going to the next window, I can choose which tags I wanna incorporate into my tr trend graph. So on number one, I'm gonna choose tag one, like so. I'm gonna name it tag one in the comments. And then I'm gonna do zero to 300 as my max. I'm gonna change this to red press OK, and then I'm gonna do the same for the next three. I'm gonna name this tag two. It's tag two, zero to 300. And then I'm gonna pick green, press OK. Same thing for tag three. Rinse and repeat until I have all the tags I need to show. And then I'm gonna pick purple. And then last but not least, tag four. Tag four, tag four, zero to 300. And then we will pick blue, maybe like a light blue. Press OK. Now we have our four colors. Going to continue on. You can have a max of up to eight colors. And then we're going to go on to the next window. I'm going to show the control button. So there's more so than just viewing the graph. We can manipulate the graph after we have established it on our simulator or on the actual X panel itself. So I'm going to show the control buttons. Next, we can display the legend if we want, so we can display the tag values I want to, or we can show the, date, show the date I don't want to show the date. And then I can display a grid, number of grid, vertical and horizontal cutoffs. I can have a color change for that. I can also display the min-max value of the y-axis, and I can display the time of the x-axis if I want to. I'm gonna keep all of that since it's set by default. I'm gonna press okay, and it will populate the inches of the screen that you choose. So in my case, I chose a seven inch X panel, so it will populate the whole screen for me. I'm gonna go ahead and run this simulator so we can see what it looks like in action. And then as you can see here, it will start generating random values. My graph will start collecting data and then plotting it on the graph itself. I can choose to pause the graph and then look at it further in or I can back backtrack and look at nothing because nothing's there too long ago but I'm going to go ahead and press play again it'll resume back to normal I can zoom in on the graph if I choose to I can zoom out of the graph if I want I can change which tag I'm looking at so now you can see that the y and the x-axis are like a neon green that is because now we're looking at tag two specifically and then we can change that to tag three we can change it to tag four if the min and maxes were different. I chose the min and max to be zero to 300 on each of them, so it does, technically doesn't do anything to the graph when I change it. And then I'm gonna just bring it back on home to tag one. If I don't wanna display a certain 
tag, I can choose to take it off. So if I don't want to display four and two, I press OK, then those will disappear. And I'm just looking at tag one and three. If I want to add them back in, go ahead and check box them back, press OK, and then they're back in the graph as you wanted before. Those are all the manipulations for trend graph and how you make a trend graph. Thank you for watching and have a great day.